Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming Pinks, it's 187, and I'm back with the, basically a send-off for Season 5, because, well, I've got an event to finish, and I think we'll start with, I just collect our consolation rewards here, it didn't matter at this point. A few more battle points. Bro. Actually, you know, let's go through and just clear out all these. Uh, I did pro my Becky Lynch from the 2K20 cards. I don't think I'm going to get a... I might get a half heroic. I don't know. I don't think... Well, if I, it depends on how many ads I got to do. I'm going to use as many ads as possible. If I got to use the last bit of credits, I could. But King of the Ring is unavailable because we are, as we are getting ready for Season 6. And, uh, our Battleground, this is it for Battleground, and after PvP, that's gonna go kinda muted until the teardrop, the season drops on Wednesday. So, hopefully, it'll be ready by the time I get off of work. But, eh, I thought it'd be fun to kinda look back at a few of these wonderful, just how far the game has come, you know? I think we got... See, it's like going through like some of these early ones. I never got a lot of these cards. You know, they see hey, there's a Hogan one that I'm gonna have to find some of the images on some of these. There's the Orton, you know, there's a Terry Funk. That's actually a pretty good, you know, it's a good Miz image. <sighs> Probably one of my favorite. Old school big show. <laughs> nope. Daniel Bryan, he had, you know, they had fusions we had. <laughs> Have I gotten any Hogan cards? Oh, I do have a few of them. Okay, because we had the rare from Season 1. Hulkamania, Hulkamania. They're all, no Hollywood, which I'm a little surprised by. Yeah, I've never got any Hollywood Hogan. Hopefully, maybe we'll get some more in Season 6. Uh, why am I, am I doing this with my phone plugged in? I don't know. Uh... All right, where we go here, and then, you know, I actually really like the design of these cards. This is one of my favorite edge images. You know, we had the wonderful, all the events, you know, one of, actually one of my favorite images is always going to be this Seth Rollins, the WWE title, because this is where, you know, when they used to do title images. Season 2, I really was starting to get into it, and I was really going. It's a wonderful Becky Lynch. Random throwback I, I think I got from, what was that, one of their deals? I don't know, there was some like, throwback uh, in packs, in the free packs, I think. You know, it was Ted Devious. The first time we had money in the bank, and this is one of my favorite images, too. Yes, Roman haters get on me. I really don't care. I mean, a lot of these were just a lot of image purposes. You know, we had Sting. Now, this I remember. This is being a pro after like 15 or 16 singles in this tier. I was really getting mad. I was really getting annoyed. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite AJ. Again, one of my favorite images in the game is that AJ with the title. Wonderful money in the bank. I'm, I'm amazed we never got a list. <laughs> Local talent. <laughs> you know, he almost won that. That was a PCC. He almost won that against Strowman. That was been hilarious. There's like a, an effort like, oh, everyone, local talent. Lo we got to have local talent win. Local talent. 
they would have had to have given him a card. They would have had to give him some people some kind of card one of because they thought it was a it was a joke, right? It was supposed to be a joke. Yeah, Braun Strowman beating local talent, right? Not one of the best cards in the tier. This takers frequently in the top of the tiers. Um. Okay, and we go into and we go into season three. Wow, God. I'm just... Oh, I remember this. Uh, the pull glitch. I remember. The, oh my God. Because I pulled Liv Morgan for a pro, and then it was just like pull, 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 pull. After that, I only I had to stop it. How did I have to stop it? Um, I don't remember what it was. There was something. I remember I had a video. I put up a video on that. It was so hilarious. It's like, oh shit, I gotta start recording this. This is when I really was starting to get into doing the for YouTube for a second. Cause I, my channel been all over the place and then kind of centered into a lot of super cards. Because it's quick and easy and I never went back to a lot of other things. Even though I would like to. <laughs> See, this is when they had the idea of the Raw SmackDown in NXT cards. It was really cool, actually. Because, you know, you had all these represents from all the brands. Um, yeah, Liv was in NXT. I like the Elites. I thought the designs were really cool. They had the, the sharp logo of the NXT had the fire of Raw, which this was cool. And I think it spawned in um, the name changes. Anyway, kind of the more of the electricity of SmackDown type of deal. <laughs> this is one of the last title images I remember. I remember grinding like hell and Road to Glory to get that because I just wanted the image. Well, wow, I never proed that in I never proed Enzo? Wow, I'm a little surprised by that. <laughs> yeah, they redesigned, but they were all, you know, and then they that was kind of a one and done deal. Then we went to WrestleMania 33 where I really I just kinda of burned myself out of the game. <laughs> So many, yes, Jinder Mahal in an event card. He was WWE champion. Ugh. Never forget, and may he remain hindered. Now, this was the first time we saw in SummerSlam 17 uh, when 2K they started doing the cards in their collector's editions, which was really cool. And then we went in Season 4. Wow. This is where the designs really started to get crazy, but maybe sometimes not for the better. Monster tier is horrendous. Titan I really liked. I love the gears. I love the... Like I, they were I, I love... Titan tier was cool. 34 had some great designs, you know, as we were in the season here. Where we, we, I believe we here we first saw Last Man Standing, brand new. It was a brand new game mode, and it was it was pretty good. I liked it. Triple H, uh, the game, uh, and actually maybe I, I kept a lot of my old uh, event cards as well. You can see here. First time we saw Kurt Angle in the game was fantastic. In fact, when was uh, how many Van Dams do I have? Yeah, we hadn't seen Van Dam since uh, well, Monster Tier, but before that was season one. You know, SummerSlam, you know, by the time we start seeing heroic cards, you know, there's see, there's Taker LMS, there's a 
Tommaso, Vader. This was cool. God, that Goliath, that Goliath event, that was a really, those were really cool. And then again, we got the 2K cards. And the only one I ever really changed was this one because I wanted to use that image. Oops, I didn't want to go back out there. Uh, <laughs> and then we get into season five. And this is where, by this point, I'm like, I, I don't know why I stopped doing videos. I really, but work was always a bitch. Uh, man, see the shattered tier. And Neon had some great designs, honestly. The design of the Neon cards is fantastic. I love the 80s vibe. Shattered, where we we started really getting dynamic. You had the the faces and the shards, the lightning, all the they they were cool. LMS raged on. Oh, oh fuck! I forgot to talk about you know talk about pull, pull glitches. You know, ultimate tier when you could you know it was based on your, I think your rank deck and not your top eight. And then just the stats start getting freaking crazy. We had two different Bray Whites. He's got like, he had like two different Bray Whites and they have two different arrows. They're taggable with, with each other. It was amazing. <laughs> it's cool to see. Keep... <laughs> I don't know how the hell Tensai get a card before Jeff Jarrett. I need to just play one boy Jeff Jarrett like that. God damn it. Ain't he great? <laughs> I mean, now, you know, we're millions in the stats. It's going to be interesting, but yeah. Tensai has a card. I hate that I never got that Hollywood dream image. God. Fuck. Anyway, this... Uh, just It's going to be interesting where the game goes with fortification of pros. We're going to have... You know, going beyond pro, you know, like the match beyond with war games or, you know, a level beyond Super State or whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, the match is played. It's going to be one bar and not like you have to do four different stats. Thank God, because that was that's always a bitch. Um, oh, damn. Yeah, well, I'm almost done pro and Roman, too, which I'm happy about. There will be no enhancements or token slots either. So it's going to be interesting how the stats are going to, you know, the fortification. You know, we're going to have a, a special, like, gobbledygooker event that's going to really hand out more, a lot of gooker cards. So really see, so you can see what the fortification does in a less competitive setting. I don't know what that buzz was, but. I think it's still freaking yeah, it's still working. I don't know. Weird. I have to test these later and make sure they're fucking working. I say I hope this thing works. Well, I would assume the mic's still working, but I don't know. I'm only going to sound... Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking. I'm talking to myself trying to figure something out right on the fly, because why not? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get this event done. Trying to Still trying to pro my... I mean, I've been so seasoned burnout, man. I've been just burned. Uh, let's see here. All right, yeah, I ported some. I don't know if I'm gonna get the half heroic. To be honest, uh, there's a there's a pole, there's a titan. I still, I think we need to bump this energy cap up to fifty. But I mean, that's just me. All right, so and so yeah, fortification. You know the the beyond pro thing. It's gonna be interesting how things start to play out. Uh, bumping the team cap up to twenty. 
on all player profiles, uh, player activity pane. It's going to be a lot easier to create who's playing, who's actually playing, you know, playing uh, actively or just kind of a casual, you know. So Team Battle will be able to start, you know, have two, you know, teams of 10 and Team Battleground. That's going to be interesting. So let's hope they raise the cap on the battle points because if... Or is that going to matter? I don't know if that's going to matter or not. Oh, am I going to have to play another game? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, we'll play another one. Why not? Because it's... A bitch. I mean, as you can see, I'm getting ready. I got all these tickets and I've got all these league points and all the fun stuff that ooh the pack opening is going to be lit all right major leaderboard across all three major team event types and participation stats average points you know so that's going to be interesting So it's going to make, like for the guys that actually specifically do a lot of recruiting, you know, like in my team, hey, it's going to make their jobs a lot easier. And then something I think I've wanted for a while, a good while, something that's definitely been uh, requested, a uh, way to be able to train cards without actually playing. So bring in the Performance Center. You know, prop. You know, I. Why not? You know, named after the uh, performance center down in there in uh, Orlando. Let's see. Uh, cards XP chamber will require purchases, like with the fusion chamber. You can speed up the training by making. So, cards currently in the PC cannot be trained, deleted, proed, fortified, or otherwise used outside of content of playing matches. So. If you, I guess, you know, if you're, you know, level your cards up anyway, it's not going to matter, but, which you should be, but I guess you always know, do for XP to get games play, I guess, like, things like that's going to be nice. It's going to be interesting what the timing is going to be, and, you know, and how this is going to, and I really won't know how it's going to work until I actually, you know, start playing and then oh the other thing they added to the team this is big adding perks for purchase uh let's see allows you to boost shards picks and tb charts at one hour increments for the entire team a notification will pop up give anyone okay who drops you know like if i go in and let's say oh we're doing a team battleground we're trying to get our you know charges hey I could, how much is these are going to cost? It's going to be interesting, but it'll say, hey, Pegasus 187 dropped uh, our charge boost. Get going or whatever. That's going to be cool. But it's going to be interesting how all this is going to play with like event cards. Like how are we going to, you know, are we going to be able to fortify our event cards going to. All right, this actually went nicely. Just shard after shard in a row. Nice. Literally, like, the last five just right in a row like a boss. Awesome, Trish. Now we're going to Heroic. I think it's Batista and Duggan are the undercards for this, so it's eh. I still have too much shit to pro. Oh, speaking of pros, awesome. I, I token these a while back how I wanted them to fit through, but hey. Proman Reigns, the big dog. I may not even pro like these fusions. I, the Natty, I probably will fusion pro, but maybe not this Miz. I already have one of him pro. 
Uh, let's, you know, let's get Roman all trained up. Let's change his image. I'm glad I saw it, went and looked. There's only one image to use, to be honest. Um, did I get the... I mean, that one looks good. Roman's had some fairly decent images, actually. Laiki Reigns, as I call it. That's, that's old school. Weird, like some of the, sometimes the glow with some of them actually look really freaking good, but that's the one we're going with. I got some I could train off, I hope. And we'll take it. We'll get rid of Rick here. All right. I'll we'll use tokens. Yeah, no tokens for the new season. So it's going to be interesting how everything kind of starts to play out and all that good shit. Yep, and there he is. He makes the team. I'm going to autofill that. I'm going to swap this out. Yeah, that Mankind's almost done. So both my Mankinds need to... Need work, but... LMS, I mean, LMS deck is filled. Now, every... <laughs> I mean, this doesn't really matter anyway, but everything's getting filled out. I'm, I'm happy, you know. I'll put, probably put some work in here and see if uh, I snag myself a heroic, but I don't think I am. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I uh, will be back for Season 6 then. Pegasus out.